uh, many times glass railing systems are, are engineered to, to withstand loads on their own, but the, the, the connection point to the deck is not considered. Uh, if you go get a building code and the inspector's a keener, um, he's going to ask you, well, what's the connection detail on the deck? So I'll just touch briefly on the screw that we use. These are, uh, we either use U2 screws or GRK screws. They have a lot of threaded material here, and we use six by six blocking. As you can see, this is almost four inches. So if you don't have a significant amount of blocking, there's, enough, there's not enough thread in there to hold that fastener. Now what ends, up, what ends up happening on a spigot like this is this bolt is in there, more importantly this way, and when you load it, those screws have to withstand that load. Now, our spigots are able to do that because we have almost a five and a half inch base. Uh, for a cheaper alternative like this, it's significantly less. Those screws are only almost two inches apart. So when you put this in and apply that same load on the top, there's, there's just almost twice as much torque on these screws to, to make them pull out. So I don't care what kind of, um, what kind of screw you're going to use, you know, if you're trying to do it on just a, a gap of that's only two inches, you're, you're, you're going to pull that screw out all, every day. So it's very important to use a proper blocking detail, uh, the proper screws for your detail, and not just screw down something like that that's expected to withstand a 450 pound load, um, you know, onto a deck board or potentially onto a wood screw. It has to be uh, a fastener that's certified to handle those kind of loads.